if the last episode was anything to go by, Rimuru has now got to be fearful for his life, lest he be slurped up in his sleep. And yet, life goes on. School keeps on ticking, students learning, drawing pictures, and Gobta remaining. Well, I hope he never changes. Despite the problem to society he may become, or the massive amounts of restraining orders taken out. But there's more characters to follow, more of a daily life to see. So let's get into it. So when in the timeline was all of this uh, written, I know he gave up on that diary idea pretty quickly. Are we now experiencing a... Uh, Rimuru's holidays? I'm pretty sure I can spend a day doing nothing without even trying. Taking a rest and a break comes more than naturally. <laughs> but I guess without the likes of the internet, <laughs> he's got to find his own entertainment. Training his agility. Well, don't let some of the others see you fail at that second throw. I'm not sure we should... Yeah, I don't think we should be watching this part. He was vibrating that sofa into the next phase of existence. Do your best to try to dissuade her. He's been uh, sitting alone on that couch for five minutes and he's already done with his holiday. No rest for the wicked. Whenever there's a like power outage or anything, I'm sure we would all struggle to find anything to do, much like Rimuru. <laughs> we'll be bouncing around ourselves. I know none of these stories will probably have like a grand impact on the overall plot. But sometimes you don't want it to. That's kind of why so many people like the like slice of life genre. And will we actually get at least one page filled in for this book? By the end of it all. Where do they get such a vast variety of fruits? Maybe going to Gobta for advice on how to spend your days off is not the best of ideas. Although... Starting off well. Can't deny that one. <laughs> the fact that Rimuru hasn't had time to see all of the street stalls and what's 
happened and been built? Is he meant to be doing work? That's just wasting food. <laughs> Maybe enjoy a day off when you actually have a day off. <laughs> I'm not one to speak, but if I was being chased by people with swords, maybe I'd change my tune. He still hones himself. Not everyone has the same work ethic. It's nice of you to be so stoic and honourable, but get the hell out. We did see in part of it that... Uh, he spends his life for building and doing his work around the village. Geld. He seems popular. <laughs> they apparently seem to like him. He is a caretaker. <laughs> With a body like that, of course you would want to find alternate ways of moving yourself. Oh no. He's so stealthy, even if he is... Just the fact of not being uh, caught doing dumb shit. <laughs> Something to do. He seems so pumped to get started. Yeah, they've got a lot of uh, water planes. With all of his resistances and whatnot, I don't believe he needs a straw hat. But rumour is never one to shy away from fashion. You know, Shuna and everyone will make sure of that. Oh, they need to plant some more fields just to uh, make up for the poison that she's using the ingredients for. And we probably need to keep a close eye on those lot. He's already gone, hasn't he? <laughs> he he's overseeing your work. He's work you're doing a lot. Oh 
over there. It's... It's lucky that uh, he's the only one that kind of came up and interrupted their meditation. Why don't we put that to the test? Well, even farming implements can be used as great weapons in times of need. Well... What was Rimuru standing on there? To be in frame? They're gonna start having their own soy sauce production or something. An acquired taste. Actually, paradoxically, if she makes it, it might be good. No, just just the beans. Not not. Oh no. Look what you've done. You've unleashed a monster. <clears throat> you know, if anyone's still alive by the end of it. That won't be necessary. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the kind of job that requires such strength. Strangely serious. Oh. You know, do a dance of the gods for a great bounty and harvest. Is he done with his work, though? Or is he just finding another way to escape? When were these planted? I think it's with everyone else, you know, having their own duties and jobs, are they going to have enough time for you know to gather the harvest and people actually being able to take some breaks from their own work why don't you stand in their its place gobter ah Was this made in anyone's image? How would we know which is the real one? Really? I didn't expect a... A reference to an art piece in this. Was it the scream? (laughs) 
Are you actually helping here? Laying out the foundations for a new for a new field. And yet he's left so many of his kunai just lying about. Planting fields, playing with cats. What can that boy not do? You've got to love characters with just beards, and it's just the beards wiggle slightly when they talk. <clears throat> They've really got their creative juices flowing. Productivity is off the charts. <laughs> Are they making clothing to fit their own preferences? How reliable is he that everyone calls calls out to him when he passes by? We saw him taking care of the like single plant that was in the way before. Literally seeing the fruits of his labour. Of course he was. <laughs> the fact that everyone gets like a standardised lunch. Lots of practice, but he's going to give off some. Don't tell him to eat rocks. As long as they've got something to work towards, I'm sure the youngsters in this village can grow really quite strong, considering they've got the power of... Don't like carrots? It's actually the carrots. He can't give off such words to the children and not follow them himself. It is good to see that the is that, was that lavender, uh, the entire town actually showing off its its fertility, farming lands, and self sufficiency. Where did you get the soybeans from in the first place? Probably trading with another town elsewhere. I 
actually, just say it's great. Don't get him to repeat it. But actually growing something from scratch and seeing it through to the end, yeah, it's kind of fulfilling. And if it's her saying it, then yeah. It'd be kind of odd if they don't grow well. <laughs> Maybe you can quickly prover provide a special garden just for hers just for her <laughs> let let the show begin <laughs> I'm seeing the Popsicle stick rep was that Rimuru in a bunny outfit? Popsicle stick representation of the characters. I think some of these would make quite good stickers. The problem is, if you have the idea of this, like, stage show, you will have Gabaru and his men. So just make sure they're not informed about it. And will we actually see Xion's cooking? What amazing delectables is she going to create with that rotten knowledge? Hopefully all the fields don't get too waterlogged. Yep, for like forest spirits, of course they're gonna like the the rain. Run. But where's he going to run to? Are you gonna get caught this time? Have all of us done something like that where we've been messing around in the background, hoping not to get caught, just having fun. And despite the chilling words of the Dryad, how she's been left out, with the ever-growing community, that kind of problem of not being able to invite everyone to every occasion is definitely going to become of more of an issue, but pick your battles. The ones that will cause the most damage you probably want to invite first, and forest spirits might rank up there. And I know a little about farming, probably more than some other things really, but how in-depth is Slime Diaries going to get it? Are we going to carry it right through to harvest all the possible pitfalls? Too much water? Lack of water? Insect invasions? I don't think we're going to have to worry about crop rotation, but 
but maybe further down the line, along with some more tailoring. How many more outfits are those two brothers going to make? But also, as someone with a very low tolerance to sitting still for a long time, as, well, if I'm not doing anything, I can understand him getting a bit antsy, wanting to move around, wiggling about. But now that we have had our hard day's work, we shouldn't really get complacent. Mainly because there's another one coming right up. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down below. Leaving a like and a comment is always appreciated. Probably more than you realise. And if you want to make sure not to miss out in the future, consider subscribing to the channel as well. But for now, I think we have all earned a well-deserved break. Watching people work tirelessly is exhausting. Get some rest. See you in the next one. If you would like to help cultivate my channel and help it grow into luscious budding fruits, consider joining onto my Patreon. Because alongside Sal, Electric Ant, Arthia, Noku, Raywin, Chiwan, Mecha, Matt, Stinsfire, Jennifer Rojas, Big Boy, Girly, Kite, Saltytron, Rasmus, Paulson, Tano, One, Two, Three, Duck, Shadow, Seven, Eight, Nine, Nine, Cardboard, Maurizio, Lasano, and everyone else, we may have a bountiful harvest. If the devastating locust swarm of YouTube analytics and copyright don't come crashing down on us.